welcome to another walk in the spirit come with me as we have another walk now I'm at a repeat location um, I don't have a lot of time to get out here because Sun is setting but I do want to say this is my favorite location I've hit a lot of hiking trails in the area and this one is my favorite so we're gonna walk here today and we're gonna have our walk in the spirit this is a day after Thanksgiving. For those of you who are in America, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I think it's about 3.15, uh, about 39 degrees. Sun will be setting in an hour or so. Uh, it's probably about 10 miles an hour wind. Uh, almost windy. But I still have my selfie stick fully extended, but I have the uh, windscreen on. We should be fine. So today, I want to talk about being lukewarm, neither hot nor cold. I'm slightly chilly. I was wondering if I should bring gloves out here. I didn't. So, I'll just try to walk fast. That'll keep me a little warmer. Excuse me as I adjust the camera just a t smidge. I'm also going to check to make sure I'm recording. I am. I'll we'll take a quick look at the river over here. Alright, so there's the river. It is cold. It is a little windy. So, I'm going to keep moving, folks. All right. Uh, my brother in the Lord, Kevin, put out a video, I guess about seven, eight hours ago, um, talking about, you know, corruption is keeping America from getting the truth, even though America seems to be wanting the truth. If you want to see that video of Kevin's I'm speaking about, you can find it here. And it, 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 uh, and I responded to that video. I thought it was a fine video. But I want to go on uh, and speak about this situation. You see, many Americans have voted for Trump. Many Americans believe in God. But the sad thing is, is they're lukewarm. And Jesus said, I'd rather you be hot or cold. And because you are not, I will spew you out of my mouth. I will put that verse on the screen. Chilly, chilly, chilly. You see, those on the fence, those who are lukewarm, they're not advancing the kingdom of God. And we're coming to the period, one of the first things I saw when I began studying prophecy and end times, I saw that during the tribulation, there's no more gray areas. It's either black or white. So the lukewarm will not stay lukewarm. Okay? Right now the lukewarm have it easy because those who are on fire for God, promoting the kingdom, we are their salt, we are their light, and we're keeping them from crossing over into the evil. But once the restrainer is gone, we're not hindering them from joining the other side. And then, of course, right now, I, I, I believe it started at the beginning of Soros. Um, or shortly thereafter, that God brought about the great delusion. Now, that is in Thessalonians. It says God will bring about a great delusion. So those who do not love the truth will be condemned. I'll put that verse on the screen.
So there will come a point when the restrainer is gone, the delusion is here. Right now, the delusion, I believe, is here, but the restrainer is still here. And there are still there is still time for people to repent and repent with relative ease because we are here preaching the gospel and we are restraining evil. But the time is coming when the restrainer will be gone. The delusion will be unhindered. In fact, it will be increased by the lies of the coming Antichrist and false prophet. And Scripture says that the false prophet is going to make everyone take the mark of the beast and then eventually the whole world will worship Satan and the Antichrist. I'll put that verse on the screen. And I'm going to take my favorite part of this trail here. I had a previous walk in the spirit where I discovered this trail and went down here. If you want to see that one, you can find it here. Woo, I'm definitely cold. My hands are cold. Should have brought my gloves. So you see, those on the fence right now are not participating in evil, but they tolerate evil. How many Democrats out there are saying nothing some are, praise God, some are. Some of the Democrats out there are saying nothing about all the corruption in the Democrat Party. You see, they're tolerating it. They're lukewarm. Now, yes, there is corruption in the Republican Party. And by the way, I don't consider myself a Republican. I consider myself a conservative. I didn't vote for Trump. Um, I think Trump is an ungodly man. I've had these discussions before, and I can do so here. So I'm not wanting people to say, well, you you vote for Trump and he's corrupt. Yep, he's corrupt, he's ungodly. So you can't use that. But sadly, many people in this earth, right wing or left wing, are on the fence and they're not following God. I mean, we do have a bunch of conservatives um, who tolerate sin, tolerate wickedness and are not on fire for God. Not just saying Democrats, folks. There is a problem in America and in the world of people being lukewarm. And God's not going to allow it. Jesus said, I will spew you out. I would rather you be hot or cold. Okay? I put out a video a week or so ago about those who are not salty, those who've lost their saltiness, those who don't have the extra oil. These are the people I'm talking about. And I discuss what happens to them in eternity in this video here. I'm not gonna repeat that video, okay? I'm speaking to those people though. Um, and I'm trying to get across the point where people are saying, well, people are voting for Trump. People are believing in God. It's not enough. You can't be lukewarm. Now, when I was here before, I saw this trail and I said, maybe I'll try it another time. Well, it's another time. So let's try this trail. I don't know where it's going to go. It might end, you know, 50 feet. But I want people to realize being lukewarm is not enough to save America. Being lukewarm is not enough to make it into the kingdom of God. Sure, you may be saved. Pile of wood here, firewood. So the trail ends over here by this house and over here by those houses. But it does go this way. I will go this way. We can't be lukewarm. 
You need to be on fire for God. What do I mean? Let's be more specific. You need to be a disciple of Christ. Now, I have a series of videos, I think there's like six or seven of them, called In Seven Minutes or Less. And I do a video in that series, In Seven Minutes or Less, what it means to be a disciple. I highly recommend, if you're one of these people on the fence, and you don't want to be on the fence, and you want to know what you can do, check out this video, In Seven Minutes or Less, what it is to be a disciple, discipleship, okay? There are nine requirements written in scripture about being a disciple. And this will cause you to be sold out for God, representing God in the earth. Yeah, I've never been on this little trail. I think I know where this comes out. We need to be salt and light in the earth. We need to have that extra oil to be rapture ready. See, you could be lukewarm and miss the rapture as well. And I don't want that for you. Okay. Um, but see, you can be rapture ready, be born again, and still be lukewarm. You might not be living in sin, but you're tolerating sin. You might get raptured. You'll make it into the kingdom. <laughs> but you're not going to have many rewards. Um... You're not going to have much rule and reign with Christ, and you can do better, okay? So there's two groups in here. Yes, there are some who are rapture ready, some who are born again, some who are not living in sin, but they are tolerating sin and not saying anything about it. Now, I'm not saying you go to work and start condemning and everybody. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying say something. Post something on Facebook against sin. Put out a video. You can do something, okay? We're trying to get people to Christ. We're not out there condemning people, okay? <laughs> there's a way, there's a pattern, there's a life that we can live where we can draw people to Christ. That's what I'm talking about. We can't be lukewarm. We can't be sitting on the fence. And sadly, America is lukewarm. And it's gonna be spewed out. America's judgment is coming. And that's gonna be a national judgment and a personal judgment for those who are lukewarm. Again, some who are lukewarm will be saved, but not in the kingdom. Let's see that other video. Some are in the kingdom and are also lukewarm. You know, they've, they've, they've made it into the kingdom, but they're doing nothing else. <laughs> they're not furthering the kingdom. They're not helping others grow in Christ. You can't be that way. And this is why America is suffering what it's suffering. Because we tolerate corruption. We tolerate sin. And we tolerate corruption, you tolerate sin, then those in power will be corrupt. And, and you can be voting for good things for America, but it's not enough. It's not enough. All right, this is bringing me out to these houses over here. And I'm gonna keep walking. I kind of like it in here. I think there, there's a path over here to the right. I'll just walk over there to the path. I know there's a lot of people who think there's enough good in America. People are turning around and, and voting for Trump. You know, going to church, sadly, that's not enough, okay? People need to be disciples. This this goes to someone's right backyard. I'm not gonna go in there, so I am, uh, ah, look at that, there's a Bigfoot behind me. <laughs> that's funny. But there's a path over here, I'm just gonna walk over here to this path. So 
I encourage each and every one of you get in God's Word okay I had a video uh, a walk in the spirit a couple weeks ago where I talk about we need to get in God's Word and that's part of being lukewarm people who don't read God's Word you know they might watch videos of people on YouTube and say oh yeah that's great I enjoy it but then they're not digging in God's Word themselves You got to develop your relationship with Christ. You got to be light and salt. You got to have that extra oil. Let it flow through you. Can't be lukewarm. Jesus will spit you out. You'll be saved, but you won't be in God's kingdom. Or you'll be barely in his kingdom. <laughs> We can do better, folks. All of us, including me. That's why I'm always seeking the Lord. Got to have a repentful heart. Got to be have a correctable spirit. Be willing to grow, willing to repent. Willing to say something when something needs to be said. Time is short. I, I really believe the rapture is going to occur before Feast of Trumpets next year, 2021. But I think there has to be a time period between the rapture and the Feast of Trumpets so other things can happen. Um, specifically, I believe, um, the building of the temple. So, time is short. Okay, time is short. Judgment's about to fall on America. America can't be saved, but you can. Remember, there's a salvation of your spirit and the salvation of your soul. So you might be saved spiritually, but you gotta save your soul still. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I also have a seven minute video on that. The difference between the spirit and the soul in seven minutes or less, watch that video here. Well folks, I think that's all I gotta share. Don't be lukewarm. I don't want you cold either. <laughs> I don't want you denying Christ and giving up your faith or just being saved and do nothing else you know be saved and promote sin by the way I don't want, I, I, I want to clarify that okay I know there's a lot of discussion out there about can a person be saved and living in sin yes they can but they're going to suffer judgment like I talked about in that first video I linked to. But if you want to know more about the details between can you lose your salvation and those kinds of things, watch my video here. I don't want to get into it here. <laughs> Judgment is coming upon those who are not in God's kingdom and are saved. They will be suffering the great wine press judgment. They won't be going into hell, they won't be going into the lake of fire, but they're also not going into God's kingdom. All right, see that video for more. All right, folks, that's about it. I know I said a lot of things that are hard, a lot of things that are gonna ruffle feathers, but you can't sit on the fence. I gotta ruffle the feathers of those on the fence. All right, folks, we'll talk to you again soon. Lord willing, God bless. If we're not raptured, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.